Alright, hello, this is the third tutorial I'm doing for the application PT Computer. And if you just clicked on this video for no reason, it's an application for 3DS and DSi that allows you to program in BASIC, or a modified version of BASIC. It was created by Smileboom. Thank you so much for this awesome app, because it's really fun to play with. Alright, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a calculator. And you're also going to get other things from making the calculator, of course, like the, the commands and stuff. But, alright, so I'm not going to be doing this line by line like I usually do with you. I'm going to be loading one I've already made because it would take way too long for me to do that. So, hang on. Will I load the magical calculator program? And it makes that weird noise, and it's loaded. So here we go. All right. Some of you are like, "Oh, that's a lot of stuff." No, it's really not. So, all right. So it starts off with CLS, which, if you don't already know, means it, it'll clear the console. It'll clear it, so it's got a fresh new thing to work on. And then it will print. Hello, I am Doctor Rabbit. As an introduction, no input. I'm just being weird. And then you know it, it. This is where it go when it, it'll go when it loops. And then input. Give me a number. And it takes the input for the first number, which is no one, number one. And if you saw the other videos, yes, you don't need a dollar sign here because it's just an, it's just a number. That's all it's going to be a number. If you put in a letter, it'll just you know do, say redo from start, and that's what it'll do. It beeps. Give me another number, and then it's the same thing over here, except it's just no two. I'll show you real quick. Some of you are doubting, doubting me on how simple this will be. See? No two. Then beeps again. And now here's another, here's the fun part. Input. What operation? And then I named the um, operations in the K with a dollar sign because it's, it is not a number. And then, here, and then here we go. Here's the new command that will be very, very useful for you. If. It means the same thing in basic as it does in regular English. If something happens, do this. So in this case, if K... Dollar sign, two equal signs, which means equals, obviously, equals plus, and yes, you do need the quote marks, equals plus, then go to, at, add, you know it. So the same thing for all four operations. Minus multiplication, this is supposed to be an asterisk, I know my camera doesn't show it, but it's supposed to be an asterisk, and then slash for division. So, you know, here's all, and then it would just go to do add, add, um, yeah, add, add. At sub, subtraction, now multiplication, then division is at the big is at the bottom here. Wow. So you know, here's what we would do to do math. At add, sum. Sum is the new is the new variable. Sum equal is going to equal with one equal sign. Number one, plus number two, and that's how you do math. Now that's that's what sum equals. And then it's going to print. The sum is sum. See. And yes, the two semicolons and the quote marks, so you don't need another quote mark because you're just putting the variable in with the regular text. And yeah, that's how you do math. And you know, and then go to at end, it's going to go to here, it's gonna be begin, it's gonna loop. Because you know, if we didn't put that in, it would just go through all the other operations too. And then add subtraction, same thing. Difference equals no one minus no two. Multiplication, no one times no two. Quotient, no one divided by no two, and that's a calculator. See? I'm just going to run this to show you what it is. So, run. See, clear the screen. Hello, I am Dr. Rabbit. Give me a number. I choose eight. Give me another number. 56. What operation? Hmm. Division. And there's the quotient. It, yeah, it goes up to the uh, th th thousandth place. I hate saying that word. And then it starts again. Now I'm going to show you a fun, you know, fun way to mess with any calculator program. Eight, and then zero. And some of you might already see where I'm going with this. You know, to be pretty obvious, what I'm going to do with this. Yep, division by zero. Ha! It's fun to mess up. And if this is the first, you know, one of my tutorials of watching, you're wondering, you know, like what exactly everything else does. Just go back and check them all out because I go over everything. You know, I go over basically everything. Except the new things I went over in this video, obviously. Wow, I can't believe I just said that. But, um, yes, any questions, put it in the comments. If I didn't go over anything, please tell me how to make another video and repost it. But I don't think I did.
because they didn't have to. It, it's it's one of the short, shorter videos because they don't have to write code line by line of code. But anyway, good luck coding. The next video will probably be something on how to, um, you know, uh, move things on the screen. Not animate, but just place letters at different parts of the screen. And that's it. Alright, good luck programming again. And I don't know when the next video will be because this is a bit of a, you know, more annoying thing to do. It's probably going to get done tomorrow, but alright, good luck for the third time. Bye.